Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to create a payment with Stripe. We are going to step by step and I'll show you how you can easily do it so you don't uh, have to waste time finding out on your own. For this particular task obviously we are all already logged in into Stripe uh, so I strongly recommend you creating an account here. It's uh, completely for free. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and I'm running this account just to show you how it's all done. You probably saw that there is continue activation on uh, this account all because I'm not really feeling uh, too confident about uh, addressing my, uh, my personal personal uh, account since I'm from Slovakia and it works with IBAN and I don't want to risk it. So I believe once you just uh, fill this IBAN you hit continue you hit continue and uh, that's the only thing standing between uh, you and completing the activation. But back to the matter. On uh, top of our screen we have this payments option. In a previous video I created a payment link just to show you how it's all done. Today we are going uh, to manually charge a customer. All we have to do is click on create payment and uh, go step by, uh, step by step. So all we have to do is at the moment uh, check if uh, we want to create a payment one time or uh, recurring. For that, obviously, uh, we have to create a test subscription or create a, a customer. But uh, let's go first uh, one time. Amount will be uh, 20 euros. Obviously, you can change uh, uh, change the currency. You can go to even Bosnia and Herzegovina convertible mark, Bermuda dollar, Brunei dollar. Way more options than than is a country supported by Stripe. So customer will be Matt uh, King. We can also add the customer account uh, like this description. A good friend, uh, billing, uh, billing email, okay. Billing details, let's go with uh, Slovakia. Address line, Toto Wolf uh, Street uh, 5. Just like that. Uh, Just like that, shipping details, same as a billing, time zone, um, yeah, whatever, we don't have to really do this, and add another ID or add a customer. I'm gonna save the customer, so uh, from now on, as you can see, I, I believe there's nothing to be shown, yeah, it's okay. Uh, manually enter card information. And more options, capture funds later, edit the billing address and uh, submit payment. Oh, okay. Test. Submit payment and your card number is incomplete. So yeah, all you have to do is just write down your personal uh, card. So at the moment, all we have to do is uh, check the recurrings. If you want to uh, add it, uh, all you have to do is find a customer. Let's go with Matt King, add a new product will be tutorial, subscription schedule, April 30 to forever, uh, free trial days, add free trial. And uh, yeah, you can create a test subscription just like that. It's uh, really one of the easiest subscriptions since you see billing starter is 0.5% or recurring payments. 
it's uh, very generous uh, the normal one is around two uh, percent for example with paypal uh, all you have to do with payments then you can also create an invoice for example that's uh, the third best option that you have but i'm gonna create next video about it and also we have customers so for those i strongly recommend you add every customer that you want to bill him and you want to bill to keep them in in uh, your in your books and i promise you it will save you a lot of time so just add a customer and uh, basically do it the same way as we did with uh, math king then we have products at the moment i created just two products one I, uh, when i was uh, creating uh, the payments before we have billing options we can uh, create invoices subscription quotes and many many more obviously this account is empty so far but we are going to we are going to fill it with uh, products customers and informations for you to see how the dashboard uh, works on stripe uh, we have uh, reports we have connect and obviously there are tons and tons of options for you with payment links invoicing subscription terminals issuing and uh, many uh, many more options that we can play with on uh, on stripe so if you have any types of questions please leave them underneath this video uh, and i'll get back to you as quickly as i can mainly uh, mainly for payments we have fraud risks also and payment links as you can see i already created a few of them so when you really need to ask someone to pay you for for the things you already done you can use the the payments with create a payment link other than that everything you will see at home button and this home option on top left corner you can send links to your customers so they can straight away pay you so stay tuned for invoicing a customer which will be in the second video or third video actually after create payment uh, link create a payment and create and invoice with stripes yet again guys if you have any any types of uh, questions please leave them underneath this video and i'll get back to you as quickly as i can thanks for watching and see you in the next one have a great day and goodbye